Hey good people, welcome to another episode of Man in the Kitchen. Today we're doing a real simple appetizer, salmon balls. Okay, let's get to it. Let's man it up. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really do salmon like this, but let's try. Oh, yeah. What's the thing? What's the thing? I got just a little bit of sweetness to it. You know, I, I got sweet too. Oh, okay. Sauce is good now. Okay, cool. Well, glad, glad you like it. I already have my dry rub ready that I'm going to put on my salmon. It's already mixed. It's a combination of one teaspoon of Old Bay, a teaspoon of granulated granulated garlic, a teaspoon of lemon pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. After that, I'm going to add this dry herb mixture I like to use. See if y'all can get a good look at it. This is the one I like to use right here. It's real good. It's a blend of savory, fennel, thyme, rosemary, and lavender, okay? I probably won't use all of this on this salmon because it is a lot, but I just like that blend of the mixture that I made. So with the remaining of it, I'll probably just use it for something else, okay? But use as much as you want. Be as liberal as you want. It's your salmon. Didn't use any salt or anything, so it's gonna be flavorful anyway. So. Let's get started putting this dry rub on it. We're going to get it all on there. Nice little liberal amount. Pat it in. Real good. Press it in there. Press it in that meat so it can so you can get some good flavor on it. There's a little spot down here. Don't leave nobody out. Okay, that looks good. Medley. Like I say, use as much as you like. This is how I like to do mine. You can never have enough herb in these. in your food. About to say something else, but we're gonna keep it PG. Press it in there. That looks great. We're gonna let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Then we're gonna pop it in the oven. I have already preheated my oven at 350 degrees. We're gonna cook this salmon for 15 minutes and check it. If it needs to go a little longer, then we'll let it go probably maybe five minutes. Being how thick it is, it might need to go the whole 20, but we're gonna do it for 15 and then check on it. I got the pan that I'm using to, put, to cook this salmon on already in the oven, so it's hot. So we're gonna put this salmon on a hot pan and then put it in the oven. Set our timer. Check it out. 
check back with you in 15 minutes. Okay, y'all, it's been 15 minutes. Let's check our salmon and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's right where we need it to be. Cause I don't want to fully cook it. Cause when I make the salmon balls, we're gonna pop it in the oven again. So this right here is perfect. You can see the oil getting ready to come out of here. So it's just right. So now we're gonna let it rest, get cool. Then we're gonna go to our next step. Okay, this is what we're gonna use to build our salmon balls. We're gonna use one cup of mayo, one cup of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of Old Bay, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of this chili garlic sauce, two eggs, and juice of a lemon. Let's go. Start with our mayo. Put this whole thing in. Mayo, we'll crack our eggs, pretty good, not, not the best crack, but it's a start, let's do it, see if I'm better with this one, I guess I am. it's best to whisk it. Good whisk, blend that in. When it gets a nice smooth texture, we can start adding the rest of the ingredients. Should be creamy and smooth and moving around pretty good. Take our Dijon mustard, add that in there. The whisk. We're gonna remove the salmon. Try to remove it and leave the skin because not too many people eat the skin. There's some, I know it's a few of y'all out there, but not a whole lot. Now you wanna take the salmon. You don't want to crumble it up way too much. You want to leave some chunks. So we're going to lightly fold it into this mixture without breaking the salmon all the way up and trying to disintegrate it. So I'm just going to remove the salmon and put it in there. And then lightly fold it in. all the way up. If you want to taste a piece on the way, you can. I always taste your food while you cook. So you know if you're going in the right direction. Also let you know if you need to add a little salt, a little pepper, whatever. 
you know, give it a little taste. You know, if it's bad, you can always start over. Okay. Let's fold it. It's coming together nicely. Got that folded. Now we want to add our bread crumbs. Add it in kind of layers so you can kind of get it evenly spread throughout. Bread crumbs are gonna help this bond together so that you can make it nice and firm. Sticking it up real nicely, raw ready. It seemed like it was a lot at first. But after you add, add the breadcrumbs, it just soaks all that flavor up in there. I can smell it already. That's how you know that it's going to be good when you can smell it before it's even finished cooking. You know you're doing something right. When I tell you it soaked all of that moisture up, it did. Okay. Now what you want to do, you want to let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes to let all of that moisture soak up into those breadcrumbs. Then we're gonna make our balls and then they're gonna come out nice and perfect. So we're gonna let this sit for about, like I said, 15, 20 minutes. All right, see, it looks like that the breadcrumbs soaked all of that juice and moisture and everything up. They're gonna be nice to form, so Good deal. We got our trusty ice cream scooper. Uh, not quite an ice cream scooper, but nobody's eating ice cream that small. But it makes good balls. That's how you make a good ball. So, scoop and roll. Almost sound like a song, huh? Scoop and roll. Perfect. Be great for appetizers, sports events, holiday events. Probably want to spread them maybe about one, about an inch or so apart from each other. Give it a little room to breathe, because when we turn it on and put it in the oven, well, we're gonna bake them at 350 for about 10, 15 minutes, check on them. Make sure they're good. Keep in mind that we already baked them for 15 minutes in the beginning. So, it's halfway done already. So, you wanna really keep an eye on them. You don't wanna overcook them. Then they're gonna be dry. This is thick. It's meat all the way through this. We made it. I think we're good. Let's get this clean up and we're gonna pop these in the oven. All right, let's put these in the oven and we're gonna bake them for 15 minutes and then check them. Okay, y'all, while my ball's in the oven, we're gonna make some sauce for dipping, okay? We're gonna use mayo, Old Bay seasoning, some smoked paprika, sweet relish, pour that in there. And all the measurements are gonna be in the description box below. So you can just check down below and you can get all the measurements. We got garlic powder. We're gonna juice full lemon. And we got some sriracha sauce. Put some of that in there just to give it a nice little kick. While we're at it, we're gonna put some honey in there. Whisk, Whisk it until it's smooth. Oh, 
always give it a little taste. See where you're at. Mmm. That's good. I think I add just a little bit more honey to it. All right, y'all, y'all know what time it is. Time to give it a little taste test. As you can see, they look perfect. Just pull my balls out of the oven and they are perfect. These salmon balls are like absolutely gorgeous. They're looking good. Nice texture. Still, they got a little nice texture on the outside. Feel like they're moist on the inside. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Huh. Hey, these are a hit. But I tell you, hey, this is it. This, this is it. This right here. This right here. These salmon balls. Look, you can't miss. We're talking about strike. Home run. Perfect. Let's try it with some sauce. Oh. <laughs> this sauce here, it just leveled it up. Oh. Steam coming out. Look. I can't explain it. I mean, it's, it's hard to explain what I'm tasting right now, but you, the freshness of the salmon, uh, the Creole seasoning, the, 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 the Old Bay, everything that I put in here with the, oh, look, I'm lost for words. Mm. I'm supposed to be taking these over somebody's house. They might be in trouble. They might not get a full order, I'm just saying. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All my return visitors, I appreciate you. I love you for coming back and enjoying my videos, giving me a thumbs up and everything. But if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I'm coming out with fresh new videos, new creative stuff. I'm gonna keep dropping them. Y'all tune in, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like it, when you do it. And uh, some of the stuff that I use will be in the links down below in the, in the um, description box. Also, the recipes will be also down there as well. So, thank you for coming out. Man in the Kitchen. We're doing it again. Until next time, y'all. Peace out. Be blessed. <laughs>